everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome back. So today we're talking homeworks. Um, we have a new homeworks candle. Uh, it's called Root Beer Float. It just came out the other day. Mine just came in the mail today from QVC. Um, so as you may or may not know, uh, today is April 1st when I'm filming this. So I'll give you a little bit of a rundown here with HSN because um, as of today, Harry is on uh, QVC as well as HSN. They are owned by the same company, Curate. Uh, QVC is based up here in uh, the Westchester area in Pennsylvania. And um, HSN is based down in Tampa, Tampa Bay area. So, uh, but same same company and uh, different tactics. So let's get into it. So today was the official launch of uh, Homeworks on uh, HSN and they had uh, Home Shopping Network on HSN. Um, they had three sets of two different candles for their Today Special. So their Today Special is the equivalent of QVC's Today Special value. So um, same deal, it's a one day only price, typically a one day only offer. Um, but as we've seen in the past with Homeworks, those TSVs, um, they've stayed around um but for a lot more money like the like the uh fall and holiday ones were forty nine dollars uh over the summer with free shipping for three candles now they're sixty dollars plus seven fifty to ship so they're almost like seventy five dollars for three candles at the end of the day um so there was um, a fruity collection which was honeydew cooler which does interest me uh, don't get me wrong there um you know, I'm not really into my fruitiness, but honeydew, melon scents, I do kind of like, um, with a watermelon lemonade, okay, um, not my cup of tea, Bath & Body Works has kind of played out, um, watermelon lemonade for me, they just package it, it's a Christmas candle, it's, it's crazy over there, um, and then the next one was coconut sorbet, um, which if you ask Anthony over at Candle Cafe, I believe he actually had some coconut sorbet when he did the interview with Harry um, over the summer. Um, check his interview out. I think they did have a coconut sorbet. And that was paired with bananas. Bananas Foster. Um, and then the pair I ordered was um, the floral set, which is pear blossom and white tea. I do typically like my white tea scents. I like the white tea from Yankee. It's very um, uplifting and fresh. Uh, the pear blossom, that's... Um, if it's like, um, like a Bradford pear, like we have Bradford pear trees in front of the house. If it's like that kind of pear, that kind of floral, I'm going to be all over it. Um, if it's like really fruity pear, um, eh, but the good part is it's a pair of two different ones, which is what I like, um, and what I would love to be more regular, right? Like the, um, uh, the hobnails, I think there's one back here, right? The hobnails for fall, they were uh, two different ones as well. Um, and the TSVs, no, they were the same, but uh, in, the, in the winter, but the TSVs over the summer, they were uh, three different scents there. So I would really, really like to come back. Now there's also auto ships. Uh, so two for the fall and two for winter. Um, like there's like an apple cider one. Uh, and then there's one called Golden Harvest for the fall. Uh, and then for the winter, there's one called First First Frost. And I think Holiday Wreath was the other one. Christmas Wreath. I think it was Holiday Wreath um, or Holiday Tree. Something, something along those lines. Uh, but it, it was a, a green wax. Uh, it was a fur. It's a fur uh, scent there. And the notes have apple and all kinds of stuff. So I did do the auto ship because I am all about those scents. Um, I'd love to skip over fall, go right to Christmas, but that's near here or there. Anyhow, so there are a couple other exclusive scents on QVC. Uh, I'm sorry, HSN. So there's the Spun Vanilla Sugar, um, and there's the Apricot Cobbler. So go check out Melanie over at Mr. Kong's Mom uh, for reviews, at least on the Spun Sugar. I think she has the Apricot too. Uh, Brett from Two Gay Dads, he also just did both of those reviews as well um, for both of those. I... Not my cup of tea. Um, if that spun vanilla sugar actually was like a cotton candy scent, um, I'd be all over it. That's what I thought originally um, what it was because there was a 
sponge sugar from Goose Creek, which was uh, like cotton candy like. It was very, very nice there. So anyhow, uh, watch the pricing over there because they are, they've been playing games with pricing over the past week or so because um, they've been online. They at one point were, were charging you $7.50 to ship a pair of two when QVC only charges $5.50 to ship a pair of two. Um, they're $44 for some sets. Some sets are $39. Um, the, the today's special the other day was, I don't know, $38. Today it was $35 or something along those lines. And there wasn't free shipping. So I do think HSN needs to tighten it up a little bit when it comes to their pricing um, and their offers. Because $38, $35 for a pair of two with no free shipping doesn't make it that special from a normal pair, right? So if you're paying $39 for a pair of two of the same, and then you're gonna come and say, oh, but there's these two um, for 35, whatever the price was, I think it was 35, I, I don't know, I, I forget, I ordered so early this morning. Um, doesn't, the pricing doesn't really line up. Um, whereas like with QVC, you know, they were like $32 for the winter TSV, I think it was, with free shipping. Um, so, I mean, and even last year when we had the fruit baskets up there, they were like $36 in free shipping. I mean, they, those were big boxes because you had the ceramic and you had the inserts. Um, so, I mean, QVC, they've got that dialed in. They've got that pricing that, even though I don't agree with how they're pricing, like why are some of the fall and winter scents still full price? So, I went back this time last year. Um, besides us having, you know, a lot of Homeworks product to choose from, uh, they were, QVC was already clearancing out the um, Tropicals and a couple other ones there. Like, some of the Tropicals were already down to $29. We had a ton of florals out. We had ceramics. So, um, we'll see. The season has been extended this year until June. Um, so, there's still plenty of time for this. We have the April 18th. TSV on QVC for a couple things, so um, we'll wait and see uh, what Homeworks has uh, up their sleeve. Anyhow, that was my little my little rant on HSN. Um, just be careful. Um, you know, don't open up a QVC or HSN credit card if you don't have to, just to get the twenty dollars off or, or whatever. Um, you know, I did for QVC to get a, a forty dollar credit. Now, to me, I knew I was going to be buying something. Um, I didn't think what I was going to be buying was actually what I was going to be buying, but, um, I knew I was going to be buying something and I got a $40 credit to use and I just ended up using that on the, uh, one day only for a second set of the spring tree. It was 40 bucks. So it was basically free. Uh, anyhow. Oh, also HSN has brought back a lot of the old stuff. So like the pedestals, here's the bird's nest. I missed this last year. Um, but this is back there, 26 bucks. The uh, seashell one did sell out today. But uh, if you want this one, the bamboo or the sunflower, they're still available as of time of recording. As well as the Sundays, the ice cream cones, that giant egg from last year, um, and the big, big pineapple. So let's get into root beer float. Wow, nine minutes. Holy cow. Sorry. Um, but there's just so much to talk about. Um, so here we go. So here's root beer float. Um, we got the white lid. So this is very reminiscent of the ice cream collection from last year with the striping and everything. So we have four wicks of white wax. Um, uh, I was kind of confused on this because I thought at one point I saw a picture on QVC where it says brown wax. So, um, I didn't know what I was going to get there, but we have root beer float on there. I get where they are going with this label. Um, and this is also comes out with uh, berry trifle and coconut cake. Those scents are not for me, but if you like those scents from last year, they are returning. You can get them uh, from here in the, the set here. Not a set, but comes in a set two of the same. Um, I get where they were going in the 1950s, you know, vanilla fountain, not vanilla, uh, soda fountain shop. I do get that. Um, but to me, I just can't stop thinking about like, like root beer floats, like the, how the other candles are with the picture wrap image all the way around. Um, I just think it would look stellar. Um, you know, the lines aren't solid lines. That's not a big deal, but um, brown lines isn't 
too appealing to me. And I feel like it might clash with the red a little bit. And that's just me being critical. But um, all in all, you know, I'm not going to uh, not buy a candle um, for its label. And that's kind of, uh, I don't want to say it's petty, but, um, you know, it is what it is. So uh, let's get into it. So 18 ounces, four wicks, 39 bucks, so that's two, only on QVC right now. Fragrance notes, root beer, anise, sparkling ginger, vanilla bean, and crystallized sugar, 30 to, 30, 30 to 55 hour burn time, and like all the other homework scandals this year, um, made in Vietnam. Date coat, date code on this is December 10th of 2018. Um, that's when it was produced. So this was um, a shocker when I saw it online, but I knew I had to order it right away because I do love my root beer float scents. Um, and this is actually very authentic. So I have a couple other ones here to compare it to. I have the Bath and Body Works version right here, and I have the Yankee Candle version here as well. So let's talk about this one here real quick. So right off the top, you get that sparkling effervescent ginger, a little bit of anise in there, right? The black licorice anise scent going on. But there's a creaminess of the vanilla. So this is very, um, it's very bright. It would remind me, you know, you're down the shore, Coney Island, right? Or even the, the, a diner, right? We have a couple of diners near us. Um, it was like uh, like Nifty Fifties Diner. We have a couple of those. Uh, or if you go into Disney World, um, 50's Primetime Cafe over in uh, Hollywood Studios or MGM, however you want to look at it. <clears throat> yeah, this is, it's very nice. <clears throat> Vanilla creamy. Um, you get that effervescent, like I said, that's very, very high up in there. I like it. <clears throat> um, this is very authentic. It's not heavy. Um, it's a very light uh, not light in throw, but it's very light scent. So it's not like dark, heavy um, going on there. So it, it is interesting. I, I can't wait to see how it burns. Now the wicks, they are a little thick, a little thicker there. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see how how they perform there. We'll get we'll get to burn that pretty soon. Uh, we'll compare it against. So this was Bath and Body Works one from last year. Everyone went crazy over because it, it was apparently the Slack and Co. version from a couple years back. Um, comparing these two against each other, I can now see where people were going with this, where they were like, oh, it smells like, um, like toothpaste because it had that kind of toothpaste smell. And it does. When you compare it to this, it certainly has, has a toothpaste smell going on. But it's not, this one says root beer, vanilla, ice cream, dollop of whipped cream. Mm. This one's more like vanilla root beer. There's really not much else going on to it. I like fake sweet root beer. Maybe a little bit of anise going on there, but certainly comparing it to that, this one smells a lot uh, really fake. Let's just go with that. And here we have uh, Root Beer Float from Yankee Candle. This one hasn't been around in a while. This is actually a 2016 pour. All right, so this is probably the closest to these. So if you want to compare candles, um, these two would probably be the closest to compare it to each other, leaving that Root Beer Float out of the equation. <clears throat> here we do have, but see, this is more Root Beer. This is like the, I don't get too much of the float portion on this. I really just get like kind of the Root Beer note. And, you know, there's anise in root beer. That's how it's kind of made, you know, with the licorice. Yeah, this is really just, this is just root beer. It's just like if you poured a Barks root beer or even an A&W root beer. Um, this is what you would get. So, again, these two are probably, probably the closest um, together. And what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below to, to purchase that there. But uh, these are probably the closest together. So, um... Yeah, I, I can't. Wait to, I will burn this a little bit, and then this is going to be a summertime candle for me. I'll burn it outside, you know, when I'm sitting on the patio doing some work or whatnot. Um, but yeah, so check this out. Uh, we like it. So that is what I have for you from HSN QVC. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I will do my best to answer them honestly, fairly, and unbiasedly. Um, you know, we all know that there's 
growing pains, you know, um, sometimes. So, um, if you need any tips or tricks with HSN, um, new customers, there's a $10 off code. Um, and then they'll mail you or email you a 15% off code after you make that purchase. But that 15% off code, I found out this morning, is not good for today's specials. So, blah, I had to pay full price. No big deal. Um, no big deal. Um, it is what it is. So, uh, that's what I have for you for homeworks today. So, if you have any questions, let me know. Comments, anything, like and subscribe. Let me know down below. Um, and uh, let's see what else I have. You know, uh, QVC, uh, TSV, April 18th. So, um, stay tuned.